What's going on guys, I'm Bill and welcome to Bill's How To. Today I'm gonna to show you guys how to fix a hinge, or in this case, two hinges that have been completely ripped out. So if we have a look, the screw holes here have completely been threaded. Um, as a result, the actual hinges have fallen out. So today I'm gonna to show you guys a few different ways that we can fix this solution. If we have a look, for whatever reason, there's three hinges on this little cupboard here, um, or on the door. There shouldn't be three hinges, but for whatever reason, there's three. Um, what we're gonna be looking at is the way it's been installed. So if we have a look, initially here, we've got little cup head screws, which shouldn't be used to install this here. So if we have a look at the top of the hinge where it actually sits into the door, you can see there it's got a little recessed area and that's for a countersunk screw to sit into. So these little cup head screws here are not what's supposed to be used. We're gonna use the right screws um, to fix this one here. So when we have a look, the first thing you can do is when these are being uh, threaded and everything's fallen out is use a bigger screw. And when I say bigger, I don't necessarily mean longer, I mean a thicker gauge. So if we have a look here, we've got 16 millimeter um, door here. So we have to use very small screws. If we have a look here, we've got 14 uh, millimeter length screws. If that will decide to focus for you guys, 14 millimeters in length, however they are reasonably thick. These ones here are eight gauge screws and I specifically buy the eight gauge screws to make sure that I've got a bit more bite in there. When we have a look at these ones here, initially they use the wrong screws anyway, um, but you can see there, it's actually not big enough. And the reason for that is a lot of these cupboard when they come uh, flat pack or they come pre-made, what they tend to use is a little plug that's around here somewhere this one right here. So there's just basically a little anchor, a little plug that goes into there and then the screw screws into that. I really don't like these ones because usually when they come with these, um, they're not very strong and they usually give prob people problems later on down the track. So there's a couple options here that we can do. Number one is put the bigger screw in. Doesn't work in this case here. What we can do also is take the old plug. If you've got all of them laying around, in this case here, we're missing all of them apart from one. So what we can do, is take this plug, put a little bit of adhesive or a little bit of glue on there, put that plug back into position, wait for it to set, and then we can put our screws back in there. But I don't like to do that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my own plugs. So we've got here my plug set. Um, we've got some wall anchors or wall plugs, whatever you wanna call them. These ones here are five millimeters, six millimeters, and eight, uh, seven millimeters in thickness. So all I do is I start off with the first one, which is my five millimeter wall plug. Slot that into the hole and see if that fits. If that fits nice and tight and I can give that a little push in order to get it in, that one there is gonna work perfect for me. Even though it's a little bit longer, we're gonna cut it off. If this one here was a little bit loose and we needed um, something a bit tighter, then I'd jump up to the bigger size, which is my uh, six millimeter wall plugs here. Um, but in this case, this one here works perfect. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply this plug in every single hole that's missing, um, cut them off flush, and then we can re-screw our hinges. So I'll show you guys a quick little trick um, to cut these down to size. So like I said, we take our wall plug, push that all the way in as far as we can get it. Then we take a little utility blade, or in this case here, um, this is one of my favorite tools. I've got two of them in my pocket every single day, um, just a little razor blade. And what we're gonna do with that is we're gonna cut this off flush with the door. So just work it nice and easy. Without damaging the door, we can cut that off and we've got that nice and flush. Now I can take the leftover piece, do the same thing down the bottom and cut that section there off as well. Once again, same thing down the bottom, push it in as far as it'll go, cut them off flush, put the leftover piece down the bottom and cut that one off as well. So what I like to do is I like to clip in the back end first up against the carcass and then I can screw in my little cup section here onto the actual door itself. So with this one here, if we stretch it, this one here is even actually broken as well. So if we have a look, extremely poor, have a look at that. You can see there the little plug is still on there. They don't go all the way in, they're very short plugs and this is the biggest problem guys. So I'm going to remove these ones here, replace the screws as well for this one here. So now we've got brand new plugs ready to go. We're going to install our hinges first. So you can see here I've already installed two of them. Um, these ones here I like to start off on one side at a time. So I like to install the back side which is the side that sits on the carcass. These ones here are clip-on hinges, so you can see the little arms down the bottom, they clip onto this little section here. So all you do, slot those arms in, 
try and get a good view so slot those arms in and simply give it a bit of a push and you can see there that now locks in these ones here are slow close so that means once we close it they retract on their own slowly so now we've got our hinges ready to go i like to extend the arm just on one at a time it's a little bit hard to do with just one person but we'll manage um, so i've got my screw ready to go we'll slot in one arm here and you can see that lines up perfectly there with the new plugs that we put in so i'll take my first screw we don't want to over tighten it just yet because all the weight is right on this screw here so we'll take another one of these arms extend them out the same thing line it up get our screw do the same thing on the bottom it's a little bit out of view same thing on the bottom And now we can start putting in our second screws. So once we line those ones there up, we can start to tighten them up a little bit more. Making sure they've got full bite on there. And my last screw. And once that's done guys, our hinges are now in perfect order. Once again, our screws are nice and tight. Everything operates the way it should. Nice and easy little task. If there's anything else that you guys want to learn how to do in or around your house, put it in the comment section below. As always, like, comment and subscribe. Until next time I'm Bill. Thanks for watching. Bill's out too.